Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Unify G4 Instant Camera. This camera was released a couple weeks ago, and we'll compare it to the G3 Instant Camera. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, I do have some affiliate links in the description below. First, let's see what comes in the box with the G4 Instant. I'll be putting this at the side of my house with a cell phone battery pack and we'll compare it to the G3 Instant. The first thing that comes in the box is the G4 Instant. We have this little peel cover that I'll be taking off before we deploy it. And we have our microphone as well as our lens. And I also believe down here that's a speaker for the two-way audio, which I won't be testing out, but we will test out the audio when somebody's talking to it. On the bottom, we have a reset button and then we have this flap and this flap would be for the weather protection as this G4 Instant can go outdoors. So we just open that up to plug it in. And then behind this rubber grommet, we have a hole that we would use for our mounting. And I may mount this to my brick. The next thing it comes with is the power adapter, which is USB-C and it comes with a fairly long USB-C cord. And then we have all of our different mounting gear and we have a mounting template so it will tell us where we need to screw into. And it also comes with these sticky pads. The last thing it comes with is screws and anchors as well as a release tool. As you can see here, this is the G3 instant and this is the G4 instant. The G4 is quite a bit bigger than it. Now let's go to the computer and look at the specs. Now we've seen what comes in the box with the G4 instant. Let's take a look at some of the specs. The G4 instant has a five megapixel CMOS sensor. It does 2K video, so 2560 by 1440. The G3 Instant does 1080p at 30 frames per second. The G4 Instant has built-in infrared and so does the G3 Instant and they both support dual band Wi-Fi connectivity. We have a 102 degree wide angle lens on the G4 Instant and on the G3 Instant, we have a 133 degree wide angle lens. So it's a little bit bigger. They both have integrated microphones and two-way audio, which I don't really use because the audio quality isn't that good. They both come with the power adapter and they're both compact and wall mountable. So the big difference here is that 5 megapixel CMOS sensor as well as this G4 Instant can go outside. If we're looking at the price point, the G4 Instant is $99 USD MSRP whereas the G3 Instant is $29 USD MSRP. So we're going to have to see if the image quality is really worth that about $70 difference in the price point. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this adopted into my Unify Protect controller. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the G4 Instant. I turned off my noise gate on this mic because the G4 Instant gives you a few prompts. So let's listen in. Welcome to Unify Protect. Ready to adopt. Okay, now that it's ready, let's get this adopted into Protect. I have my UNVR Pro opened up on my phone and we can see that it says new device found. This is close distance to my Wi-Fi access point as it's in the same room. And then we can see the G4 Instant MAC address and the connection currently is on Bluetooth. Let's press add. Now it's locating our Wi-Fi networks and we need to make sure we put this on my camera network. As we can see, MAC Telecom camera, and then we enter the password. Okay, not sure if that came over the mic or not, but it said camera setup completed and it's ready to stream. So if we scroll down, we should be able to see this camera. And we can see on the bottom that it says camera updating. Once it's done updating, I'm going to bring it to my backyard as well as the G3 instance so we could do some comparisons. All right, so let me show you what's going on here. The mic quality might not be the best. It's a bit windy out, but we have the G4 instant right here and then the G3 instant. And I'm tying it into a cell phone battery pack. So this should last a few hours until at least nightfall and then we could get some footage. So let's go ahead and do some microphone testing as well as seeing some of the video files. G3 mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. G4 mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. G3 mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. G4 mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. Now we're going to go inside and we'll look at some of the settings for the G4 instant. Then we'll come back out at nighttime and see the infrared on both these cameras. And that was the mic test for the G3 and the G4 instance. It is clear that the G3 instant mic is better and has more gain. The G4 instant was pretty quiet. I don't really use the mics on any of these cameras anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. 
The image quality on the G4 Instant was a lot better as far as I could see. I'm not sure if that's going to push through well to YouTube though. These cameras are being powered by a portable battery charger for your cell phone. It makes these cameras to be able to be put anywhere in your business and they'll last a few days depending on how much battery bank you have. Now let's take a look at the settings of the G4 Instant Camera. And this is the quality of the G4 Instant Camera when it's on high quality, so it's a 4 megapixel camera. And it's pretty clear to me. Now let's see what the G3 Instant looks like. And here's the G3 Instant Camera. It looks pretty good as well. It shows more colors and is a bit more vibrant. It also has that wider angle so we could see more of my neighbor's house. Now let's do a side by side. So putting these side by side, the G4 Instant Camera does look a lot better to my eye. We could see the wider angle though on the G3 Instant, so if that's something you'll need, you'll need to go with that camera. But remember, the G3 Instant isn't outdoor rated. Now taking a look at more of the settings of the G4 Instant, it's pretty much the exact same as any other camera. We have our microphone, we have our brightness, contrast hue, saturation, sharpness, denoise, AE mode, orientation, infrared, and HDR, which is enabled. I'm going to leave everything at the default and then we'll go back outside and compare the G3 Instant to the G4 Instant for the night vision. But before we do that, one big thing with the G4 Instant that it doesn't include is smart detections. If you look at any other G4 line of camera, they have the smart vehicle and person detection. I'm not too sure why they didn't add this into the G4 Instant. Now it's nighttime and I did some tests with the infrareds. Unfortunately, I have these motion lights in the backyard, so it's gonna make the picture a little brighter. But this is the G3 Instant Camera. Let's take a look. When I'm close to the camera, you could tell who it is, but as I move farther away, it starts pixelating. Let's take a look at the G4 Instant Night Vision. So the G4 Instant looks a bit sharper when it's up close for the night vision. Let's see as I back away. With the G4 Instant, it still does that pixelation as we're moving further back, but I find the IR sensors are a little bit better in it. So that's going to be it for this video. Would I recommend the G4 Instant Camera? Well, I would if you need a camera for the outdoors, but you need to remember that these still need to have a power outlet to plug into, even though they're a Wi-Fi camera. If you're just going to be using these cameras indoors, I would go with the G3 Instant, as it's only $29 rather than $99. To cover areas like your garage or maybe your network closet, these are great little cameras to put in. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.